right? <clears throat> What's that? What's that? Hey. Hey, Renee Box Young. What's happening? We just warming up. We just warming up. Wait till the vibration get right. Wait till the flow of the ocean comes appropriately. You know. It's Thursday, Friday Eve. I hope everybody is having a great day. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. Make sure you hit that like button on your way in. King D. He's got. And as always, peace to the gods and goddesses. Y'all know how we do. I call you gods because that's what you are. Brown no boxing. Peace. Black Star. What's up, bro? She, we here. We always here. We been here. We gonna be here. She know what's up. How's the audio today? My mic check. What's happening? Hey, Sheena. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> what's happening? We just wait till people float in. Come on through. Wipe off your feet. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, Talk about it, talk about it. Shout out to the Monkey Wrench Gang. We're going to talk about these trolls today, too. I'm going to show you all the stuff I got to go through. <laughs> and I ain't going to say I got to go through it, but that I put myself through the pool point. <laughs> How you doing, B.O.B.? Everything, everything, bro? Asia, math, peace to you, God. How you doing, God? Like I said, with everybody, I just pray and hope everything is everything with you and your family. Stuff that's going on in this crazy place we call America. First and foremost. First and foremost. Um, first and foremost, rest in peace to Makia Bryant, another one of our babies taken by the government agents, and no matter what your opinion on this is, no matter how you look at it, y'all got to remember that's a baby. It don't matter. It don't matter what the situation was in this one, people. That was a baby. 16 years old. Now, if you're looking back at your life when you were 16, you did some goofy shit too. That you surprised you made it out of this day. No matter what happened, this baby don't have a chance to move on past her mistakes, past the issue. Right? It's just funny to me how, how many people can justify a life being taken. Right? Because of the political programming that's put into our minds, right? That if we hear something that's degrading or something about this person's past that's not right, it's easy to write them off as if a soul can't be recovered. As redemption don't apply to everyone. Right? We sit up here and we look at this shit. Everybody celebrating the, the George Floyd, the Derek Chauvin trial. Phil J, what's up, bro? Everybody sitting up here celebrating this Derek Chauvin trial like it's like it's the newest thing, like it's, you know, unleaving bread, like it's like it's the new hotness, right? And then the day after, they shoot one of our babies. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Right? So what's the point of the celebration? 
What's the point of the celebration for the Derek Chauvin trial? When again, not even a week ago, we had a young brother, a week before in Minneapolis, Minnesota, we had a young brother shot, shot and killed because she didn't know the trainer, the people that train everybody how to act in the field didn't know which hand her taser gun was at. Right? And then the day after the supposedly guilty verdict against Derek Chauvin, you have another cop kill a young sister for whatever reason. All the while, all the while, they pushing through legislation to protect Asians in this very country where they don't protect the people that was born here. Y'all need to figure this out. Everyone needs to figure this out. But what we really need to do as a people is to change our fucking frame of mind. We got to start thinking. Fucking think t-shirts. Great segue. Think t-shirts on the site. I keep telling people, bro. People, see, the mindset, of the, the human psyche is funny, man. The human condition is funny. Right? Nothing is really urgent to most people. I would say 95% of the populace. Nothing is urgent until it's at your doorstep. But what people don't understand, this is you. This is at your doorstep. No one knows, no one in this world knows what's going to happen tomorrow or the next 10 minutes or the next 15 minutes or the next hour. All you can hope is that you prepared for it. All you can hope is that you're prepared for it. So think about these children. Think about these people that's out here in the street getting killed for stupid reasons. No matter what nobody say, you getting, you getting killed from people. They killing people for fuck shit. Right? They're killing people for fuck shit. Right? And it's easy for everybody to make excuse when it's not at your doorstep. I'm telling y'all, it's at y'all doorstep. I'm telling y'all, it's at y'all doorstep. You just don't know it yet. I just had to get that out, guys. So, first and foremost, y'all know how we do. Shout out for everybody that's coming through, rolling down the line, already here. Renee Box Young, first in the building, peace to you, got My man Keaton D, always coming through in the clutch. Black Star Sports TV, make sure y'all subscribe to that man channel. That's Sports TV 2, because it's the second version. I think you should change it to Black Star Sports TV 2.0. It just sounds better. My man, she here, we here, we always here, he always here, always coming through. Brown on boxing, always coming through. Peace to you, God. My girl, Sheena. We got Asia Math to God. We got Phil J508, peace, God. Right? And if everybody else, if you ain't typed, then I missed you. Make sure you type in the chat, because I want to say what's up to everybody. And if you're not here, that's cool. Get here. If you're not here, you're in the wrong place. Hey, Asia Math, good looking, man. The support boxing t-shirt is really dope. The uh, the unisex one. I think I'm going to change all my shirts to the unisex one, Asia Math. So I don't know if you want to hold off, bro. Because the unisex t-shirts are like the, the Under Armour t-shirts. They nice. Right, this one just a cotton, you know, a cotton uh, Hanes t-shirt. So I'll probably change them off, right? So, man, let's get into it, man. People gonna come in when they come in. Y'all know how they do. First to know, last to go. That's my, that's, that's kind of my role here on YouTube at this time, right? So let's talk about it. Oh, let's first get all of the formalities out the way, the YouTube bullshit. Make sure you like, subscribe to the video. You know what I'm saying? 
make sure that you check me out on instagram under r underscore dubs it's in my description you can also follow me on facebook i will friend you also you can check me out here on youtube under ricky williams and odyssey under uh odyssey slash ricky williams odyssey is a uh uncensored platform unlike the two it's a great place for uh for con for content providers to post their stuff i'm a fan of it and you will be able to see all my videos over at odyssey so if y'all want to go over there and follow your boy so i can get lit over there i really appreciate it i really appreciate it again ricky williams odyssey uh odyssey slash ricky com slash ricky Williams. kenya b is the building kb what's happening all right okay all right <laughs> okay so first and foremost guys i want to uh give a shout out to my lovely wife mrs ricky williams today is us she's been putting up with me for 21 years so today is our 21st anniversary got us something you know something like nothing big you know what i'm saying but Thank you for loving a nigga. <laughs> through all my faults, through my good and my bads, my ups and my downs. Thank you for loving a nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you for loving a nigga. That's all I got to say. Right? Isaiah, what's happening? How you doing, bruh? French gang. Rich gang. Right? So let's get into it, man. Let's talk about this box and then we're going to move on to some other shit real quick. I got you for about an hour. Y'all know y'all time is valuable to me. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you, man. But no congratulations needed for a smart move. You know what I'm saying? Some people say I'm lucky. Some people say I'm smart. I say I'm a little bit of both. <laughs> I say I'm a little bit of both. But I had to learn this. This ain't no, life ain't been no crystal stair. You gotta learn this. You gotta learn this, right? That's why I tell y'all, man, this is my point with the young lady. Right? How can you fix it if you're not given a chance? Just in life in general, right? How can you not fix it if you're not given a chance? That's what life is about. Learning, fucking up, fixing it, fail for it, get it better the next time. That's what life is. Life is simply your journey from one struggle to the next with some good times in between. That's all life is. Right? I think that's when you really become an adult when you understand that it's going to always be some bullshit with good times in between. Right? And hopefully you uh and hopefully you smart enough, you know, and learn your lessons enough that in between those bad times you get better. Right? All you pe all you people that's with somebody that that's been with you for some time, who went through it with you, thank those people, bro. Thank you, Sheena right because this is your life journey right how many people willing to ride through your life with you right this is your life i think you know when you're young you don't understand what that means we don't under i didn't understood what it meant you know what i'm saying because if i did i would have been a lot further than i am now right it's about risks it's about chances it's about forgiveness you know what I'm saying? Shit, sometimes it's about everything. But how many people are willing to ride through you through your entire life? That's a lot of people willing to take from you. A lot of people willing to mooch off you. You know what I'm saying? That's willing to pull out your pockets, right? Steal your resources, your energy and shit. Right? Steal your time towards their endeavors. Towards their end goal for their life, but not giving a fuck about your life. Right? How many people willing to ride through you with your through your life on your train, trying to meet you halfway to a goal? Right? But hey, I'm just talking. I'm a guy on the internet. Y'all don't know me. I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a guy on the internet. So let's talk about this, man. We have some things happening in boxing. 
You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, I want to address this Mark Breland situation. Look, look, look. Mark Breland and Ronnie Shields have been friends forever, bro. Ronnie Shields gave his mans a job. And I think us, and when I say us, whenever I say us, I'm talking about black people. <laughs> Cause I'm just gonna be honest with you, the rest of these motherfuckers don't get it. Rod Neal, peace, God. A lot of these motherfuckers don't think right. They just don't get it, right? Most black people understand that, okay? This man, he got dumped from Deontay Wilder. Him and Ronnie Shields go back like four flats. He gave that man a job, right? But it's funny how these, these trolls come out, right? These trolls, they super crazy because no matter what, they looking to degrade the brothers and the sisters, right? No matter what, what you see start coming out. Oh, I guess Breland wasn't the problem. Oh, I guess my, what the fuck? How many cops you know that then shot somebody at one fucking, um, at one police jurisdiction and then leave and then go get a job at another police jurisdiction? Just because you're not, just because you're not bad at your job or you're, you're not bad that you're bad at your job don't mean you can't get another job. These people are absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. They got to look for any single piece of light to try to bring a black man down. Right? Same thing about Errol Spence Jr. Now, I know Black Star, but that's my whole point. Black Star said, Mark Bleed and I trained in Jamal Joe. That's my whole point, bro. You hear what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> exactly, Isaiah. Like, when when I heard the Mark Breeden story, him training, as I know, Ronnie Shields is the, is the head trainer. Him training Jamal didn't even jump in my head. It wasn't a thought. I was like, oh, he got his man a job. Wh whose first thought was that? That was my first thought. Tell me if y'all ain't with me. But my first thought was like, okay, because, like, I study boxing. You know what I'm saying? I know the relationship of Ronnie Shields. And, uh, and Mark Breland. And if you see, and as simple as this is actually current news because when Fred had uh, Ronnie Shields on the show, he was he was a big enough Mark Breland. No, oh, I don't believe that, that. It doesn't matter what you believe. You don't know what that man does in the presence of someone else. That could be your best friend, your man, 50 grand, setting you up ready to stab you in the back when he's in a circle of different people. Tell me I'm lying. Y'all need to stop. The best you can say is what I say. Hey, my understanding is the way I think about it. Don't nobody know how another man moved. You can only go by his actions. D-Lo Boxing, what's happening, bro? 404 in the building. You can only go by his actions, bro. You don't know what type of relationship that man had with Deontay Wilder in his camp. That's what I don't get about people. How you speaking on a, you, like, the, how can you speak on a man when you, in, in my eyes, this is the way I look at people, period. This is the way I look at people, period, right? If I see a man moving a certain type of way, right? I see a man moving a certain type of way, and this is the truth. It ain't it. Okay, let's say let's say this because somebody told me I heard something great the other day. I'm gonna stop saying truth because your truth is your truth. You, the truth is made up. That the truth applies to you how you want to apply. It. But the facts of the matter. That's what I'm gonna start saying, guys. The facts of the matter. Let me type that. Let me type that. The facts of the matter is this, right? Everybody in the, anybody with eyes, right? Who ain't lying to themselves, right? See Deontay Wilder move a certain way as a man, right? You see he's upright, he speaks his mind, what he says he's gonna do it, 
And this is just in entertainment and boxing. I can't even talk about his life because I don't know what that man do in his life. I'm talking about in boxing. For So for me, you to even say that this man is doing ABC, which is totally not something that he doing and that's out of his character. How can I believe your opinion when you don't believe the facts of how this man moving? How can I believe you? How can I jump on your train when you won't even acknowledge the facts of, how, of what everybody in the world sees? That would be retarded on my part. Coach Chris, what's up, bro? He said, wouldn't have a dude accused of being turned cold on me. Them Charlos, nah, son. Hey, them Charlos move different. It's like I said. Right? And I fuck with the Charlos, but we all know the Charlos got some weird energy. Am I right? And I'm not even, I still fuck with them as fighters, but they got a weird ass energy sometimes. Right? The D High breathing literally confirmed everything Wilder was saying with the one interview, bruh, exposed his own self. But D High, that's like I said before, bro. You went and talked to the ops before you talked to anybody on your side. That's suspecting me off gate. I don't care what the setup was, I don't care what the ops told you that this interview was supposed to be. You spoke to the ops before you spoke to anybody on this side of the water. Right? That's what I'm saying. People don't people don't want to take they don't want to present shit in context. They just want to take little bits and pieces of what they interpret to be with their narrative and then try to drop that on you. No, nah, bro, expound. Let's expound on the situation. Right? And stop answering my fucking question with a question. To be honest, if you answer my question with a question, the, your question is moot, bitch. Your question is moot. If you answer my question with the question, then this debate is over. There is no debate if you answer my question with a question. You're supposed to come back with either an answer to the question and a rebuttal or facts. But they should both be facts, to be honest. It's like today on Facebook, and I can show y'all. I'm just going to read it, though. That's like today on Facebook. Like, Facebook has some of the worst boxing um, forums in America, bro. I'm just being honest, man. Like, where is it at? Okay, so here we go, guys. So, it's a posting, and I'll tell y'all the group is called Knowledgeable Boxing Fans. A lot of them ain't knowledgeable. 90,000 90, 90, men, 90, members. Somebody posted, uh, Bud doesn't want to fight the best, right? So, of course, you got the Bud Justice League running through the crowd. And I asked a simple question. I asked a simple question, ladies and gentlemen. Do y'all want to know what the question is? Do y'all want to know what the question was? You know what? I'm going to tell you what the question was because I'm the nice guy, right? I said, name a Hall of Famer Bud beat. Yo, Isaiah, I, for real, Facebook is getting like, uh, to me, like fucking MySpace, bro. This shit is just, it's, it's absurd, but I need it for my page. You know what I'm saying? For my YouTube page. But if, if I didn't, if I wasn't on YouTube, I wouldn't even have Facebook. I shut that shit down. I had it closed for like a year. Right? The question I asked was a simple one. Again, the general topic was, Bud doesn't want to fight the best. I asked the question of, name a Hall of Famer Bud beat. Guess what this man's rebuttal was? PGH, what's up, bro? Guess what his answer to the question was? Y'all, I give y'all three chances, but you only gonna need one or two. Put it in the chat for me. This is how predictable people are. Right? This is how predictable people are. I'm waiting for the chat to catch up. Y'all know my shit slow. Or YouTube shit slow. My, I got to gig up, gig down for connection. So it's YouTube. I got hate from one person, uh, D-Hive. A couple of other dudes bigged it up, but that's neither here nor there. Kanan Brook, nope. 
That's one. Good try, though. Good try, Kenya. Can you be? That's a good guess. Major math. Nope, that's two. I'm going to give you one more. I got one more. Brook is already Isaiah. We're going to go past that. Hey, D Hive, you close, bro. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna show y'all who it. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna tell y'all what he what he asked me. Right? No, not Jeff Horn, bro. This is look. This is what this is what the answer was. Listen, y'all ready? I said, name a Hall of Famer Bud beat. The reply I got was, what Hall of Famer has Spence beat? You don't answer the question with a question. He asked. He said. He stated. What Hall of Famer has Spence beat? Did Spence have anything to do with this conversation, you goofy? See, but that's what, ladies, I'm sorry, but that's what females do. Right? Let's keep it a buck 50, bro. Right? When you catch your girl up, you sliding through her phone. F this happened to you, right? Happened to me before. Not my girl here, but before. Right, I'm looking through your phone. I see you texting somebody. I get on you, and then it get back. It get back. Then what? What happened? Who's this nigga in your phone? Right? Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this James nigga? Da 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 da. Oh, you been texting this nigga for a month? Oh, y'all went and saw each other when I was at work. Right? Right? But instead of answering your question, what happened? Right? What happened? Oh, you was fucking with that bitch, Lisa, da, 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 da. You was fucking around on me, and I ain't saying shit. You see what I'm saying? What about that bitch you was with the last time I called you? You know what I'm saying? Never answer the question. Always deflecting. That's how I know anything past that to me is a courtesy. Me discussing anything with you regarding that subject past that point that you don't answer my question is a fucking courtesy. <laughs> can you be I hear you can you be say hey I can answer that question so don't put that on female 99% of y'all can you there's a unicorn everywhere <laughs> there's a unicorn in every case <laughs> but Isaiah that's what I'm saying Isaiah Felix said them not telling the answer tells it all that's what I'm saying right if we having a general conversation where none of us don't need like I said we be arguing about rich people problems and shit they, like this shit ain't got nothing to do with us. We just enjoy and love the sport. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So if you, if you can't answer that question objectively and directly, you emo to me, bro. Keep that emo shit over there, bro. Now I'm not gonna lie. I can get passionate. I can get passionate, but my passion gonna always come with facts. Like I keep telling these people, you're not gonna piss on my leg and tell me it's raining, bro. You can't do that to me. I'm a man. You ain't gonna sit up there and talk to me like you talk to anybody else, bro. I'm gonna respect you. You're gonna respect me. That's what it is. But as soon as you get out there yelling, especially in defense of another man for no reason, I got a problem with that. I'm gonna give you that same energy. And like my wife would tell you, I'm better than I used to be. That's what I'm saying, D-Hop. Like, I like fighters. I like Errol Spence. I like the Charlos. I fuck with Deontay Wilder Heavy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck with that boy Devin Haney, right? But they, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? If they ain't arguing amongst themselves, why I gotta argue? All I'm gonna do is state the facts of the situation. And I see how they move, so it's not no opinion of mine. I'm just telling you, this is how they move. But anyway, man, Breland is not training Big Charlo. His man put him on because that's what you're supposed to do with your mans, right? Even if you don't know the full, the full bread of the situation, right? That's your man's 50 grand. Y'all been down since like four flats. Get that man a job, catch him. I wouldn't give him a, a job. Getting the water though. The fuck? 
<laughs> and don't let them hold no goddamn towels. You feel me? You are not the top. Hey, Mark reading like I'm going to get the towels. You don't go get shit. Get your ass in that ring and uh, <laughs> get the Vaseline, motherfucker. You no, no water, no towels. If he's in the corner, no water, no towels. You you are not the pool boy, sir. <laughs> right? So whatever happened, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, whatever happened, happens in that. Um, men got to live by the decisions they make. Hopefully it don't go awry. Right? Hopefully it does not go awry. But if it does, like I said, that's... that's said that's the trust between two people i keep trying to tell y'all it's all about who you trust it's all about who you believe it's all about trust and all about who you believe bro um but what else what else we got um d hive i'm saying <laughs> can you be <laughs> Hey, Mark, get away from that faucet. <laughs> Say, Mark, what you doing with the water? Nothing. Did you open that water bottle? Nope. It was, it, it was open when I got it. <laughs> this is my bottle. Make him drink it right in front of you and shit. Eight minutes later, he falling all over the place. Yeah, d he is looking a little sus. I agree, man. I agree. And Asia Math, so you need to stick to something else besides anything that got to do with what's going on in the boxing ring, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, in this type of environment, in this type of in this type of game, I couldn't trust him just off just off the fact of. You know what I'm saying? I just you have to prove yourself to me, bro, and that would take time. But like I said, that's Ronnie Shields, that's his man. I don't know what type of relationship. That's their relationship. And different people have different relationships. That's why I don't knock them. We'll see what happens, right? So let's talk about this Floyd versus Paul situation. Yo, Floyd threw that shit up quick as hell, huh? Floyd did not waste no time. <laughs> Floyd did not waste no motherfucking time, man. Like, and contrary to popular belief, I hate to say this, man, even though we all hate this goofy ass shit, Floyd the one who started this shit, bro. Floyd started this shit. That's just being honest, bro. Floyd started this whole bullshit with, with Conor fucking McGregor, bro. He started this whole shit with Conor McGregor. Am I mad at this fight? No, I don't care. Like I said, I understand these fights are events. But what I hate is the hype that our community put into this bullshit. Oh, uh, Jake Paul, he's a, you know, he's legit. Oh, yeah, he's a, shut the fuck up, bro. Isaiah, yeah, but that was after who, though? That was after Conor McGregor. You see what I'm saying? Everybody knew how that Conor fight was going to go. If you know boxing, you know how that fight was going to go, bro. Like, I don't... Ain't no mystery in this shit. Floyd is one of them... He don't like to lose. I don't care how much money you pay Floyd Mayweather. Floyd don't like to lose. You could tell by his energy, bro. Floyd the type of person that'll be gambling with you all night just to get back even or up. He don't like to lose. And like I said, I understand what it is, man. This is an event. So please stop saying, guys, what well, Floyd should be giving these young fighters. Floyd is over 40. Shit, Floyd up there. I think Floyd like 45. He a couple of years younger than me. Yeah, Floyd a couple of years younger than me, bro. He lead it like he fighting in events. That's that's what I don't get. I hate when these channels, Supreme Beast, what's up, Cadillac? You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't appreciate. I don't, I don't appreciate these channels jumping on that shit, man. Like this is an event, bro. This is an event the same way with Jake Paul. Yes, he he didn't find a he didn't make a lane. He found the lane that was there for him. Like I said, the reason why he gets so many views is because he has an ecosystem 
the paws have a base so of course people are going to watch him and then of course with mma fights being as big as they are in the white community people knew that guy's name even though that guy got off the couch looked like he just ate four uh four fucking big mac meals and didn't get no sleep and he had to use the bathroom and he just got knocked out before with a knee to the head by master ball this dude was there for a check and people say oh then everybody's talking about oh jake paul got power oh jake paul this jake paul ain't do shit i don't give a damn it's exactly what it was an exhibition fight An exhibition fight. Asia Math, I hear what you're saying, but I'm saying in this time right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying as far as this era. You know what I mean? And I, I can't be mad at Floyd for getting his money. I ain't mad at Jake Paul for getting his money. It's okay. Right? But what changes the whole thing is the perception that people put out. Right? Ain't nothing wrong with nothing if you know the nature of a thing. Black Star, say it again, bro. He didn't even train for the fight. And he's not a boxer. He's an MMA fighter. Their stand-up game is trash. That's where they always end up on the ground. Right? Most of the, I would say the, the best MMA fighter today, most of them, 99% of them, in a boxing match, with a top tier fighter get they ass whooped. It's a, it's a different science. You gotta have, it's a different understanding of the game. You gotta have a certain set of eyes to see what's going on in there. That's why my big thing right now is with everybody, bro, that don't see fights through Q Ruffin, what's happening, bro? It's like where everybody don't see boxing like I see it. Yo, our eyes not the same. If you ain't if you haven't been in a ring with somebody trying to defend yourself from getting hit in the face and the body you don't see boxing the same way i don't i see it you don't see the same way that fighters see it that's why when i can tell y'all hey boot six round you know what i'm saying i keep trying to say i play it i know it's crazy to when i tell y'all but i play it in my head like a video game man and most fighters only have one way to win. Most fighters, I would say 95% of fighters only got one way to win. Uh, Isaiah said, no problems, but old media saying it's ruining the sport and that it's his fault boxing is having fights not being made. But boxing has, thank you, it, it, it's, it's, it's a moot point. It's a moot point. You can't say Jake Paul is doing something that hasn't been happening already. Eddie Hearn coming out his mouth. Yeah, we need to make the fights made. Otherwise, Jake Paul's going to take over. Aren't you a promoter, dickhead? We, nigga, we, we French all of a sudden. I need to make the best fights. The fuck? Goddamn. Eddie Aram. Edward. Right? So don't pay that shit no mind. Like I tell people, what what gets your energy becomes your God, man. Whatever you pay attention to, that becomes your, your that's your perception. Don't get that shit no life. I don't even get that shit no life no more because people don't understand y'all. Mm. I'm gonna tell y'all once. I'm gonna tell y'all again. I'm gonna always keep this channel. A hundred. A hundred. I don't care how big if I ever get if I get there when I get there it's gonna always be the same. God. I don't owe no allegiance to no man. I just want y'all to see the world. And I and you ain't got to see it. I want y'all to understand why I see the world the way I see it. Sir, a peace to you, God, my man. Everything good, bro? Right? So shout out. If they make that fight, shout But And also, this is a big ploy, guys. This, this is a play right this is a play what pbc is about to do if they host this on showtime is showing that they still have <laughs> the ace in the hole right 
that they still got something in his back pocket called Floyd Mayweather that we can bring out just because. Right? Oh, you want views? You think that Trilla shit hit off? You think that Trilla shit with Jake Paul hit off? Hold on. <laughs> My man. <laughs> What's that? Right? Oh, a million views? 1.6 million? Okay. Because we all know that's about half and half. I would say, well, I would say Jake Paul bought the majority of those views, man, to be honest with you. Because like I said, that dude, I had to look him up again because he's not really popular. Like, I don't really get into MMA like that. I just don't. It's just not my thing. Right? So Floyd and Jake Paul going to do big numbers. Right? Going to do big numbers. And there's a lot of negotiation that need to be going on as far as network deals, uh, budgets, payouts, right? That's what it is. But if this hit, y'all get y'all still got to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? PBC, Al Heyman. Like I told y'all, it's my understanding that that Fox car should be coming out tomorrow or Saturday. But I, be, I may be wrong. Right? But that's my understanding. But the one thing I can tell you guys, what you already know, that Aaron Ugas is already locked in. Right? Buzz still ain't announced who the fuck he fighting on the date that he got already in June. It's about to be fucking May. It's April the 22nd. It's April the 22nd. When Oscar supposed to be fighting? Let's check out Oscar De La Hoya. When Oscar supposed to be fighting? I could have swore he announced in June. Was it June or July? Now Oscar said y'all is gonna be surprised by who his opponent is. <laughs> Oscar said you guys will be surprised by who his opponent is. Telling y'all, man. I swear for God, Jesus Christ, boy. Jesus Rice. Cheese and rice, god damn it. July 3rd, okay. Okay. But who let's be honest. Let's be honest. Who said for sure that bud fighting in June? I'm just saying, bro. Keep your eyes open and keep your head on the swivel, people. That's all I be saying. That's all I be saying. Keep your head on the swivel, guys. But don't be shocked. <laughs> but don't be shocked. Kenya B, you know he is right now. <laughs> Deflate the balloon, baby. USSA. This motherfucker on that poodle. He on that poodle. And y'all see how they had the open bar. Right? So you know he was getting that Hennessy in, boy. You know he was knocking that Hennessy down. But hey, let's get through the formalities. Make sure you follow and subscribe to your boy. Share with share uh share with a friend, how to share with a friend. You know, if they in this boxing thing, if they just in the life, want to hear somebody running their mouth. Hey, share me to your Facebook, your YouTube, your Twitter face. Share the kid. I'm on the road to a thousand. I'm stuck at 693 guess I just I'm, I'm just not liked by some people right um, but share with a friend and share a friend uh, make sure you check me out on Instagram under at r underscore d-u-b-b-z y'all see the cash app on the screen make sure you check out my t-shirt shop as y'all can see like I said I got that think t-shirt on today that thing Thank you better thank God damn it. Think Aretha Franklin, right? So I want to show, but I mean, let me pull this video up, man. I just want to show you the stuff that these people say, man. Hold on, hold on. I thought I had it queued. I guess I lied to myself. Uh, da, 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 da. The more. What did I have it at? 
Talk to you later. Oh, you know what? I'm making life complicated. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Where is it? Don't tell me you took it down, bruh. I think he took it down. Hold on. Ooh, I think he took it down. Oh, there it is. Oh, whether people see. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm about to skim through this part. Y'all bear with me, okay? I'm gonna slow this music down. So y'all gonna be able to hear as I as I uh skim this as I skim this video. So and then I'll bring it up on screen share once I find the part, okay? So y'all bear with me. But y'all be able to hear some of the crazy shit that these people do. Is it Johnny Blaze? <laughs> oh, Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me. Fight to fight deal with, with Joshua. Can y'all hear that? Okay. Dominic Brazil. When Deontay Wilder and Sean. Where is that? Where is that? I mean, this whole video is asinine, but that's but the they're gonna go by what Jay Diaz and point. If it was me, this is me speaking. It's two lawyers for his own good. Maybe. Where is it at? Where is it at? If it was me, this is me speaking from my opinion, guys, before y'all start wilding out in the chat and going crazy on the other side. In my opinion, right, if we, me and you, if me and you, we're supposed to be like family. We're supposed to be, we eat at each other's table. Okay, you this is the I'm part saying? about Mark Breland. what's going on in our lives. You I mean, know my family. I mean, okay. So this right here is the part about Mark Breland, how they were saying, guys, that uh, Mark Breland, was an honorable man and all this shit. And y'all know how I feel. If y'all been on my channel, y'all know how I feel about this shit is that Mark Breland, and, and like I said, I can only watch. I can only see what a man move, right? I can only see how a man moves. So the explanation of it, the Conjure, what's up, bro? It's like um, my explanation, my understanding of the situation that, okay, let me just break it down to y'all. Or better yet, y'all can just hit a video. Y'all see what I'm saying. Listen up, listen up. So again, they talking about how supposedly Mark, Mark Brilliant saved his life and all this other shit. Family, I know your family. If me and you get to this point, Rap Star, right, I can't mm. take a check from you. Yeah, but he also said this, though, Ricky. Let's keep no, it real. It's, it's he said this. Oh, no, that's, hold on. So that's the point with Mark Breeling. You guys know I, I made that the point. All that other goofy shit. Y'all can keep writing that shit all y'all want. If it was legit. Let's see it again. Yeah, but okay. So the chat DJ. So this is this is the part where uh they was talking about Mark Breland, blah blah blah. I was like, okay. So why would Mark Breland sit there and consider you take a check if you feel that the, you couldn't help Deontay Wilder, father, Omega Red? What's happening, man? Right. I say peace to you, God. Right. So they just crazy. I, I really want to get to this part though. I gotta if find I'm it. I'm out here, bro, and I'm taking it. Let me finish on. Where is it at? Where is it? This discussion. That's all I'm saying. It's supposed to be. Yes. That's what y'all not hearing. Y'all so used to defending y'all point. Oh, this is it right here. Hold on. I think this is it. You said it yourself, Punch. A real warrior does not give a fuck. He takes on everything. He doesn't go in with a mindset thinking, oh, I'm not. Uh, if I hurt this man, no, he don't give a fuck. He's going to hurt him can't have because he don't want to get you hurt. Have to kill him. You have to be in killer mode. If you get in the ring, your main objective is to punish your opponent as much as possible. Exactly, bro. That's, you that's what I mean. That's what failed. That, 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 that's what failed. Um, What's his name? What's his name? Who? Um, Come on from the UK. Jeremy, you talking about Jeremy McClellan, Ben Fardell? No, 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 um... Frampton? That, Nigel that, Ben? No, 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 that... Um, Did he just fight? Bro? When he fight, bro? <laughs> the, his son... Is that you, the boss? His son's face this Saturday. Oh, you talking... Oh, 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 oh. Sugar Ray, hey... I'm fast forward, guys. Yeah. They're taking too long. And I see... It. Hey, he's not... That's... It's my fault for not writing What's the time shit down, but I, I, y'all know I do shit I'm on the fly, so... Where's it? Where is this part? Yo, I'm getting pissed off. Hold on. Then you become a you. 
script. I mean, hopefully he's got a coach, like y'all said, that they willing to work together and they respect each other. Man, bear with me, guys. Yes, I'm about to meet y'all. Hold on. Usual dose of hate. Where is it? Where is it? Yo, in chat. Where the fuck is it? Did he come? Why? Out? Why did? About Deontay hey. Wilder here. Deontay yeah, look, Wilder I got a point question. Point that's what I, I got a question. No, that's not. That's not. Two weeks, man, or two weeks and a half is announced. That's just my opinion. Now, if I'm yeah, wrong, no, I just hey, want to... oh, here it is right now. Uh, on to the live stream, man, and uh, having me on the panel, man, I appreciate it. And uh, I see y'all, you got, you got a lot of great brothers, man. Uh, speak your mind, sports talk. I see you, my brother, Major Key Box, and I see you, my brother. Oh, and much respect to all the other brothers on the panel. Um, so I got a question for the brother right here with the head with the white headphones. I got a question for you, man. Um, this is Andrew Tucker world. I don't know if you're familiar with me, but um, I one of the generals in this him. YouTube box community. Is. But I just want to say this, man. Um, no, no, uh, you feel that who you want to see why the fight, you know, mm -hmm. in a comeback fight, you know what I mean? Because you know that he's not getting that. He's no, he's not getting the. The third Bro, fight with Tyson Fury. That's that's good. That's a great point. If it does happen, but the the truth of the matter is this, bro. If, if the thing is, people don't people don't want to admit Keep that they're up there in arbitration, bro. Whether people want to believe that, no one knows. People got Bob saying it's going to be okay. That Eddie Hearn's going to be. Nobody know. No, none of us knows what's going to happen until that arbitration is complete. But you, but you, I feel you. What you're saying, water, but you know, done. but water, you know, but. But you know that's not that's not you. But you know that's not for a third fight. If anything, it's going to be for damages. You know, if I don't know if you read that, read that. Really that that's no doubt. But that's what I'm saying. How people keep talking about this fight when nobody knows what's happening? They keep announcing it like it's it got announced and supposed to be made last year in November, and it's still not no fight. I understand everybody's view, but what I'm saying is this, bro. If Tyson Fury is walking around here saying he need a fight, he need a fight. He got a fight lined up. The part, like I said, the part I hate is that people try to put because Bob, Bob uh, Aram and Eddie Hearn come out and speak like shit is gospel. Then everybody want to come pop off with videos like it's insane, like it's true when they known and proven a lot of y'all. They known and been proven a lot of everybody, us as boxing fans, everybody. What I'm saying is this. If everybody want to keep putting the blame on Deontay Wilder, if Deontay Wilder is such an A, B, C, D, E, F fighter, if it was all excuses, Tyson Fury, y'all got a contract. <laughs> y'all want to call it expired or not? Fight that man for your warm up if it's such easy. But we're telling you we don't think Deontay Wilder wants to fight Fury anymore, bro. Yeah, bro, that's a lie. Cause why is it? But that's yeah, but that's different opinions, bro. Bro, we got fucking different opinions, then, bro. That's right. I mean, it is different. It is it is difference of opinion. You know, whether people see it or view it a different way, or have different perspectives, or 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 whatever, and whatever yeah. information that's being put out there. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we need to come, we need to, it, it comes down to the truth. And the thing is, the thing is this, man, um, we can be speculating all day, but what I do know is that, you know, I'm pretty sure that the only, the only hold up when I'm, I'm, I'm finna just go this is it right the here. situation with Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. I believe the only hold up, you know, according to my sources, is just sources. basically uh, just because they have options of different venues. So I think that's the only thing that's pretty much holding up at this at this point is just looking just picking a certain venue but i believe they're coming close to finding uh that uh choosing a venue and and having a location set and a date set so at the end of the day um i could be wrong but according to my sources that i believe that the fight could be announced within the next two weeks because they both fighters have signed contracts now whatever took place in the past we know that we're dealing with april 6th Guess what? Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, <laughs> how many times can somebody piss on you and you be like, ooh, this rain so is hot. Right? And this, like I said, I tell you, look, man, my, my point of it, and I say that to say this. I played all that to say this, right? Bring my music back and i say y'all i played that to show y'all this like i ain't the one just be talking and shit and don't go talk to these people i understand i understand viewpoints what i don't understand is is fucked up logic 
and Wilder don't want Fury fight, then why is he in court fighting for the right? That's what I'm saying. So what what is y'all talking? What is they talking about? Like this shit, I keep trying to tell y'all, boxing is life and locks is life is boxing. This shit is a microcosm of what's going on in the world today. As far as decision making and cognitive thinking. Right? You have one faction of people who takes information and gleans it, right? That goes through and tries to get an understanding of the information in front of them and come to a logical conclusion, right? But then you have another part of your people, right? Who takes the information from the authority, the or uh, the uh the top, right? The the authoritative state, and they they rock it as gospel. No questions, right? They'll even make up lies to support their their illogical stances. They'll make up lies and stories to support their illogical stance. Right? I don't know how many times I heard that excuse in the past three months. Where sources tell us that. Where sources tell us that. Right? Where sources tell us that. Where sources tell us that. All these sources. Where sources. sources tell us that. Where sources tell us that. But who's telling y'all facts? Can you be? You know what I'm saying? I want some sources. Sources. Who's telling y'all facts? I'm going to do y'all one better. Let's say they trying to drag their feet until May like Bob Arum said. This is how I think. I'm about to teach y'all how I think in one of these cases. Right? Let's say, like Bob said on Barbershop Conversations, yeah, we're looking for this to be done around May. And they trying to drag their feet until May. Right? How the fuck does Bob know it's gonna be done in May? Are you the judge? Are you the arbitrator? These people, old media, who, whatever you want to call them, the old guard pull facts out of their ass and people believe them. I don't believe nothing Bob Aram says. I believe his actions, though. Y'all see what I'm saying? Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Fresh off the carpet. Y'all see what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? It's easy to see. As in boxing, is as it goes in boxing, it goes in life. Don't believe what nobody running their gums to tell you. Watch their actions. Oh, y'all think the cops ain't out here to kill you? Watch their actions. You think these politicians and Democrats are here to help you get from under the thumb of the government, socialize you without fear of safety or that you ain't got to give something up watch their actions the actions of life Isaiah Felix the action of life I can tell you how to fix any relationship I got y'all a little bit past y'all time. This is my, my gym drop right now. Get ready. I could tell y'all how to fix, fix any relationship in your life, but you got to be strong enough to do it. You have to be strong enough to do it. Y'all ready? Let me know when y'all ready. Well, if y'all ready, can I get a hell yeah in those comments? Shout out to Ego. It's simple to fix any relationship that's not appropriate to you in your life. It's simple. Girl, do, my fellas, your girl ain't acting right. Your girl ain't acting right. Right, my ladies, your dude out here acting stupid. I don't care if it's your mom, your sister, your brother, you name it. All right, Pete. 
ain't nobody innocent in a relationship. We all fuck up. It's the human condition, right? If you don't understand a person 100% completely, which nobody does, you're going to do something that pisses that person off, irritate them, or hurt their feelings. Can we all agree with that? Can we all agree with that? Right? So it's simple. Ladies. Fellas. Your girl not doing what you need to do. It's tension in your relationship. It's simple. It's as simple as this. You sit her down. Sit him down. No argument. No reason to yell. Right? No reason to yell. Fuck. Do it over Tuesday over spaghetti and whatever y'all watching on Netflix. Right? Look here. I'm going to tell you like this, right? I'm tired of living like this. Right? I'm walking around on eggshells. You walking around on eggshells. Look, from this point, whatever happened, happened. Even Steven, we had an empty plate. We fresh up. What do you need out of me for us to be okay? What do you need out of me for us to be okay? Because somebody got to be an adult in a relationship. Somebody got to be grown. Right? You ask that question. Taco Tuesday, you right. You ask that question simply. And you tell your partner, even if you do get offended, don't. Keep that shit in. Eat it. Eat it. Clear the fucking table. And everything that person asks you to do and what you ask them to do. Because you're going to ask them to, you're going to let them know. This ain't a one-way street. This is what I need out of you for you to be okay for me. Let's start today. Let's start today. And then do it. And then do it. And watch what the other person does. Don't ask no questions. Don't argue with it when it don't happen. You simply put it in your mental Rolodex. And when they don't do what y'all agreed to do, you walk up calmly as long as you can tolerate it for as long as you can tolerate this issue. Right? Because these are the must haves. These are the must have. These are not optional in this relationship. Right? This is the must have. This is what I must have for me to be okay with you. Right? And if they don't do it, leave. Because you know at that point in your heart of hearts that you were right. Right? See, a lot of times we stay in relationships because you know what you what you did and you felt you got away with. Right? So when you see some funny shit, you write it off. You like, uh oh, man, you know, I did this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They forgave me. No, a for, somebody forgiving you shouldn't be held over your head. It shouldn't be held over your head. Because if that's the case, is it really forgiveness? If you got to walk around your own house on eggshells because of shit that happened years ago, are you really forgiven? Forgiving means you let that shit go. And if you at to the point in your relationship, if that person is at the point in your relationship where spite, it's harbored, no matter what, you don't need them anyway, and they don't need you. Go off and be happy somewhere else. It's going to suck. It's going to hurt. Everything sucks when you in it. But I keep telling y'all, we don't have time. Time have us. Time is the most valued commodity that any man or woman has. Don't let them keep telling you it's the bag and it's money and it's the Bugattis. No. You rough and you will get over it, bro. I guarantee you. Especially if you did that, because at that point, you know you cleared it and you left with a light heart. It's easy. It's easy.
It's easy, right? What's not easy is your mental state. What's not easy is the way you think about stuff, right? And the scenarios you play in your head to hold yourself back or the trauma bond that you got with somebody because y'all done went through so much horrible shit. Like I said, life is simply a journey from one struggle to the next. Isaiah, I'm telling you, time ain't no bitch. Yo, DeCondre, shout out to the Cash App. I appreciate you, bro. Again, everything's goes back in the channel. It does. Right? Isaiah, it's going to go fast, bro. So at this time, it's easy, bro. Focus on what you love to do. Because if you're doing something you love to do, you never work a day in your life. Master one thing. Get Do one thing and become a master of it. That way you can charge what the fuck you want. And everything, and work on being a better you every day. Keep James, I'm gonna give you a wrench just for that motherfucking. Keep James in the building, goddamn it. I'm gonna give him a wrench just for that goddamn, that goddamn uh, chat. My man, sorry for Keep James. Look what Keep James said, ladies and gentlemen. He said everything. Everything slick, don't slide. Just because I let it slide, don't think you slick. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Bruh. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Because that was that was on my head right then. I appreciate that. See, we had a meeting of the minds right there. But hey. That's all I got. Y'all know y'all time is so valuable to me. So valuable. I appreciate y'all coming through again. Please share and share with a friend. Now to share with a friend. I need to get my motherfucking subscribers up. It's like I get one and I lose one. But I think it's my fault too because I'm not I'm not that consistent. I need to get more consistent. Right? It's all love to you come at me another way, bro. I love my people. I love my people. I said, I'm going to drop. I ain't going to charge y'all for the game. I ain't going to charge y'all for the game. It's not needed. It's not needed. But make sure y'all support a nigga. Go buy a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this link for y'all real quick. Go buy a t-shirt. You know? I understand the donations and shit, you know, it's like you getting something for nothing because people don't give information to credit it should get. Did any of y'all get any get on get on that doge when I told y'all on that crypto? You could have made a little bit of change. Just saying. Could have made a little bit of change. Right now they playing pump and dump with it, but doge is a long-term hold, man. Too many people into it for it not to go somewhere. Right? So if y'all got a little money, you got a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. Go ahead on Weebull and get you some Doge. Sit on it. Sit on it. Right now, Doge is hitting at about 30 cents on average. Imagine if that shit hit $10 and you put in a thousand. You put in 500. You do the fucking math, bro. Y'all don't hit me, though. Y'all don't hit me. Y'all, we, y'all, we, we spent a hundred dollars on bullshit. The other day, I ordered some goddamn Mexican from a goddamn uh, Mexican truck. From a Mexican truck, and shit, I spent fucking fifty bucks. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Come on, man, we got to be smarter than that. We got to be smarter than that. Next time I'm on here, we gonna talk about trust. You setting up a trust for your family, right? Because what happens, we'll talk about it next time. We'll talk about it next time. Right, I gotta gotta leave y'all with something. All right, so that's the link for the t-shirts. Buy a fucking shirt, guys. Buy a shirt. You, You supporting the channel and you got something you can rock. All right. Again, my people, my people, I, I ain't going to even bite his shit like that. Y'all already know what it is. 
<laughs> yo, get y'all some doge, yo. Get y'all some doge. If you can, get you some Ethereum. Um, and I say, and I and I say that to say this with with Doge, you get in there for a little bit of change, you are gonna get a return, but it also gonna get you used to what you're looking at, right? As far as pumps and buys, ups and downs, when to buy, when to sell, right? It's a good way to train you, and then at that point you can step into stocks. Just saying. All right, guys, that's my time. As always, peace to the gods and goddesses of this planet i call y'all that because you are one god said once he created us now you guys are of gods keep james facts let, let, hey just drop the gems it's up to you to what you do with it that's my time make sure y'all share and like the stream if y'all know somebody else that y'all talking to shout me out in a chat i see everybody in the same chats you at blacks you at uh you at 78, you know what I'm saying? Shout your boy out. Yo, check out Ricky Williams. After, you know what I'm saying? Check out Wiki Reels channel. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I got for y'all guys. I appreciate your time. It's your boy. Y'all know. It's Ricky Williams and... My name is my name. <laughs> we out of here. Y'all take care of yourselves. Peace.